You're going to have to let people assume that you hold grudges. These are the same people who are going to immediately say to you, you're full of hatred, bitterness, strife. And every time that you turn around, always have frowns on your face, never smiling and always looking angry at the world. Just because you had tried to explain your side of the story or you just do not have time for toxic type of people and you are about business. Just because of that, you have a serious mind. And it's funny and amazing to me that these type of folks will come and attack people who like to set boundaries and standards for themselves. And I'm going to tell all of those who are setting strict boundaries and standards that it's not your responsibility to try and explain your side of the story. The reason for you're not fooling with those type of people or that particular person. And you know the reason why? It's simply because a lot of people just seem to overreact whenever that you try to explain your side of the story or whenever that they hear something come out of your mouth. Or it might be an action that you did, but they don't even want to try to get the true understanding why you did what you did in order to stop fooling with those particular type of people or that person. It's not your responsibility. Your responsibility as a person who, who is one who set boundaries and standards that is all about protecting your energy of who you are around because you got to understand that they are not responsibility for your energy of who is draining you or who is uplifting you who is who is the actual ones who are for you or who is against you the ones who are going to be there for you or not going to be there for you it's not their responsibility. It's your responsibility. And you got to understand that. And so what they don't understand is that you have a mindset of you don't have time for a lot of foolish ass people who are extremely toxic. They're just full of drama. That's just every time that you turn around, they want to cr create some unnecessary situation to create to 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 create some type of drama up into your life and the other people's lives or just want to be extremely petty on purpose or somebody who is extremely unfaithful playing games with you every time that you turn around someone who is not about business they ain't even serious at all why would somebody want to constantly spend their energy on that and and knowing that someone who has boundaries know that if I spend enough time around that, then that's what's going to get on me. And then a person who is constantly doing you wrong, and then you, you are the one that's suffering, not them. Just because you don't want to cut them off or don't even want to fool with them at all. And I'm going to tell all of you something who are setting boundaries and standards. You don't have to go explaining to other people why you don't even fool with that particular person. It's just like when someone, they were supposed to be there and they told you that they were supposed to be there. They didn't call you at the last minute. They didn't, you didn't hear nothing that something has happened to them between that one or five day period or anything like that. They didn't explain themselves. So why is that not a problem with people who out there who love to overreact? But it's a problem when someone like, like me comes and address this issue. It's just like this. It's so easy for a lot of people in this world, which we have today, overreaction, love to watch other people, and then come with a overreaction, say what's out of their mind. And especially on this YouTube channel, they do that to me all the time, all the time, rather than taking the time to analyze in order to try to see 
what is going on what is the bigger picture here looking at it from different sides and different angles in order to get the right and just conclusion for that we don't have that in our society today we have overreaction in our society today it's so people it's so easy for people to overreact and point the finger at someone else which what arrogant people do but when time somebody come back with righteous judgment analyzing them and done took their time and looking at it from all angles with facts they want to get into their damn feelings it's just like a lot of trolls they come and do that overreaction on here but they surely like to hide their goddamn face. But I'm going to tell all of you, it's not your responsibility to explain yourself to those. If you got a thing about, I ain't got time for foolishness, I ain't got time for foolish ass people, I ain't got to always carry a smile on my face, but I know that I'm happy from within, and I know that I'm not carrying grudges. You be content from within, and don't worry about them. Let them assume what they want to assume, because that's what the crowd likes to do. Your responsibility, and I'm going to say it again, is your energy.